update on how it went with my family. I went to visit them and I stayed with them. They're not vegan and I am and it's the first time they've spent any time with me um, like that as a vegan. It went pretty well actually. I got a thumbs up from my grandson um, and I only had a couple of family members kind of give me the all those vegan questions that you normally would get from non-vegan people. And it went pretty well. Um, I didn't really try to get into a debate with them on anything. I just said it's what I want to do and it's my choice. And um, I asked if they really wanted to know the answer to their questions for real because um, if they were just doing it to rile me up, then I wouldn't bother <laughs> showing them um, the answers or, uh, on YouTube. But um, Emily from Bite Size Vegan um, has great little short to the point answers on most of the questions that people would ask you. And so if um, one of the family members was really interested in, um, about insects, they were wondering uh, about insects. So go check out her video on bugs and insects. Anyway, um, they accommodated me really, I thought was really sweet. Um, my stepson made me pasta and uh, with marinara sauce, which I thought was nice of him to do out of his way even though I brought my own food I actually brought a lot of fruit and a lot of vegetables um, which I did eat um, my grandson is um, a total fruit addict so he was like totally happy I brought a um, dragon fruit I never had one before and I knew he would be so excited and when we opened it up it was like pure white with little black seeds in it it looked really cool but when we ate it, it tasted like nothing. I don't know how to describe nothing. Bland, maybe? No taste? Although I have seen Freely the Banana Girl with some dragon fruit that was red and juicy. I don't know how to tell the difference, so. And in the grocery stores in my area, um, I just happened to stumble on like six of them. They only had six out. So they're not very common where I live. Um, and uh, yes, an update on my loving little companion, Cricket. And she's right here. Hey, baby. She also transitioned to a vegan diet. Um, I chose B Dog for her. Um, actually, when we went on our visit to the family um, she came with but she's so excited she wouldn't eat she would drink water I think she was just really waiting for the grandkids to give her some scraps but she's been doing good um, I do give her um, she loves sweet potatoes she loves um, pumpkin and we just found out today that she thinks bananas are pretty tasty now, I've offered bananas to her before, but this was the first time she ever actually tried it. And I'm not sure. I think she likes it. Yep. But she's doing great on her V-Dog diet. Um, there is that. Um, okay. Okay. Here's my baby. Here's my baby. Here's my baby dog. She decided to jump up here with me. Say hi, everybody. Come here. Say hi, everybody. I can't really see her. There she is. There's my baby. There's my girl. <laughs> but a tip, a tip. When you are going to visit your non-vegan friends and family, I suggest you already have a dish to bring with you. Even if it's they're inviting you over for a dinner that they're cooking, go ahead and cook something for yourself and bring it as a gift for everybody, enough for everybody. That way it's not so focused on you. 
oh, what are you gonna eat? If you can't eat this, what are you gonna eat? And, and it's fast. And I do that with like my husband. I always plan ahead because he's not vegan. So, uh, so we're not sitting there wondering where we're gonna eat, how we're gonna do this, how we're gonna go out. And he just wants to go get a burger. Well, I've already got some restaurants you know, in the back of my mind where I know what they serve. So I know he, if he wants to go to a certain place, I can suggest another or say, hey, how about here? They make a great burger too. So, and he's pretty accommodating that way. But I, I realized if I have um, it all planned out or if I bring my own food with me, it's not such of a spotlight, you know, attack focus. What are we gonna do here? And real quick, the other um, thing is that I started uh, a full-time job. I actually work um, three 11-hour shifts and a couple of hours on Saturday. And I was wondering how that was gonna go. Well, it turns out that for the most part, even though they're not vegan, they are aware of eating raw and nutrition because it's a, a health-oriented business, so they're very into um, eating healthy. And so I find it's very easy to kind of fit right in. Again, I'm not, I haven't told anybody, I don't jump in on those conversations because I don't want the whole spotlight and questions thing going on at work. Uh, I just bring my food. Um, and I eat, I try to eat raw. I don't, I'm not completely raw, but I do eat a majority of my food raw. So I bring things like um, sweet potatoes already cooked, just warm them up, um, fruits, um, drinks, like green tea. Uh, and it's gone pretty well. We have one big break. So we work like, from you know early morning till about one o'clock, and then from one to two thirty is our break, and then we work until closing seven o'clock, and it's uh, Monday, Wednesday, and a Friday and a Saturday, so it goes pretty fast. And I I was worried about how if I was going to be able to eat enough calories during that break to cover lunch and dinner. Um, and, and for the most part, I have. When I come home, I do eat when I come home, so also. And it's been going really well. I do plan to eventually get a really good blender. I can't have four of the ninjas or the what, Vitamix or the those high, you know, high-priced name brands. Um, but I have found a, a pretty good one, I think. It has great reviews. I haven't been able to purchase it yet. So when I get my first check, that's what I'm going to do. And I'll check back in with you on that too. But I plan to juice mostly for breakfast because it'll be before I go to work or on my way to work. That'll be what I'm um, having for breakfast. And I can have that out on the floor with me and a little container just, you know, to the side and sip on that until lunch. So that's gonna work out just fine. I was worried, too worried about it actually, and I shouldn't have been. It's pretty easy. Um, and that is pretty much it for right now. Uh, I can't think of anything else. Like I said, uh, when I do get my blender and I start juicing more. Um, oh yeah, yeah. I went shopping today. One more thing. Okay, today was grocery day. I now know the difference between Medjool dates and the other date. It starts with a D. D E J or something. D E G. Dead Dead. Whatever. I can't pronounce it. Um, anyways, I decided to get a half a pound of each. And now I know why everybody likes the Medjool dates with the pits because they're not as sticky. I was trying to get those 
other ones into the bag and they were pitted so they already had their pits out so a lot of the sugary was on the outside and it was sticking to everything it was sticking to the little scoop it was sticking to the side of the bag I couldn't get it down to the bottom of the bag not doing that again I, d I didn't even get a pound in there but so I got some more medjool dates instead um, for a little tip there so Anyways, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Um, come check back in with me in about a week. Um, maybe, maybe make that two, three weeks. Because I don't know. I think I have to wait till I get my check to have that blender. And, or if I find more things to tell you about um, before then, I'll just pop on here and put up a quick video. Thanks for joining me. If you'd like to give me a thumbs up, um, I'll have several links listed below things that um, just help me health wise and good information on veganism and uh, vegan topics yeah all right till next time bye